there, cats and kittens. My name is Salty Tabby, and welcome back to Little Misfortune. Um, last time we, uh, we, we were still in this place, still doing this thing, uh, what is it called, uh, Phantasmagoria or something like that? We're in a, in a park that's supposed to be spooky. Uh, so I wanted to try this shooting mini game even though I feel like I'm going to be terrible at it. I was pretty good at the, the bopping one. I probably won't be for the shooting one. Just because I want to get some more of the our fortune told. I don't know if that's actually important or if it really matters, but it's really hard to tell in this game if something matters or not. So we're going to do one of these. This one is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Fine. Thank you. All right. Well, check this out. Now with real bullets. Real what? Bullets. Oh my gosh. I I think I broke the game. It looks like it. Aww. Can I can I glitter that? No? You know, I should have just left the game be. I had no idea that was gonna happen. Well, I guess we do the whack a fox again. <laughs> I just wanted to get another ticket. I didn't know it was gonna break the game. Oh my goodness. Real bullets. Oop, that's the wrong one. There we go, we got it anyway, okay. That's the last ticket we're gonna get. No, we don't wanna play it again, we're good. I just wanted to give the, the give the fortune lady one more ticket. One more. Then then we go. Yes. One more time. Yes, again. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. What we don't see. Oh, really? Interesting. Want to try it again then? No. I think we're good. Nah. Why is it so sad? There we go. Now let's get out of here. Pumpkins! Swan Lake. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. We have one, right? We have the, uh... Jaren? What's he doing on a swan boat? Um, sir, I, I thought you worked in a different river. Uh, not even a lake. I thought you worked in a river. Uh... Oh right, this is supposed to be spooky. Maybe maybe this is on purpose. Maybe that's not actually the guy. Let's uh let's do it. Check this boat out. It's like a black swan. Yeah. How cool is that? Black swans are pretty really, cool. Really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes. And it's just one golden coin. Okay. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would. No, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? Apparently, gold chocolate is uh, a good enough currency for Sharon. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by pirates, though. I think or that's the Kraken. What's the Kraken? A cra well, Kraken? You see it. Kraken. You know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Uh, it was a joke and I she didn't get it. Think about it forever. Oh. oh well. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Kraken. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. No Kraken, and if please. If I see you, I will know it is you. No. No, we don't want that. Oh, what's a freaking kraken? 
It's a giant it's octopus it's thing. It's very quiet. Squid, it's octopus, octopus creature. And I was, I was thinking, is the kraken available for petting? You it's in the I ocean, honey, not a, not a lake. Some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the kraken if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. We don't with fish, you say? Well, I don't have. We any don't have any fish. fish. In me. I guess I won't be petting the kraken. Nope. <gasps> Ow! We got hit by a fish. Was that the fish from the bridge? <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. We did. Do you remember I saved him from the bridge? Yeah. Remember? Yes, I remember. We did, did save you him. see the kiss he gave me <laughs> on my mouth because he was in love with me because I saved him. <laughs> okay, this girl has... Somebody loves me. Oh. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft... Yeah, apparently his name isn't Benjamin. Who happens to be a I don't remember what the wolf said his name was, but it wasn't him. Benjamin. I think it was like you Alex or something. You want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. Oh yeah, I remember. The, way, the I one who was looking for the fog. I need some translation. Do you know what this means? Kiribado kudasuka. Where is the fog? So you don't know, huh? You know? I know. <laughs> I've been outside to sleep by myself. For Who once, my Japanese knowledge comes in handy. Sleep every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. I think he's getting annoyed. Ah, stop talking. Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, mysterious, where are you going? Did he just kill himself? Look, can he swim? Hello. He just left us. That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. Oh dear. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm but pretty sure up. he'll be fine. Look, we have a ride. Well, at least we didn't get stranded on the boat. I'm a little freaked out. Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? Oh, no. There's something wrong here. Something yeah. very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing. Hide. But oh my god, girl. Scare me? I'll close my eyes. How do we hide? Potato? How do we hide? How do we hide? I want to hide. How do we hide? Do we go back to the boat? Can we go back to the boat and hide? Eh, eh. Eh, nope, we can't go back to the boat. Okay. Um, there's a snail. I don't, there's like bones. Tree? No? It's making me nervous. Why can't we hide? I don't know. Oh, oh dear. Oh damn it. My little foot got stuck. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's the monster. Oh it's gosh. The voice. Oh Can gosh. You see? Can you see it? Oh gosh. Mm. Oh! Leave me alone! Oh! 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 No! 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 The fox. I'm pretty sure it was the fox. It was not the fox. It's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. I saw it. Was it him? Is he the monster? Benjamin. What are you recording, buddy? Don't make any sudden moves. Hi, Benjamin. Play dead.
poke, poke. Hi, Benjamin. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Don't leave, Benjamin. We came here to talk to you. Because you took our happiness, apparently. Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. <laughs> stop running, please. I'm listening to him for this. All right. <sighs> Thank you. That could have ended badly. Now, watch your step. There's a bear trap up ahead. You oh, yeah. Want to get stuck that could have been real bad. It hurts like hell. Who would leave a bear trap here? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously a fox. Also, I don't like the fox. We can tell. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. Well... We were gonna walk straight into run straight into a bear trap if he hadn't stopped us. It's no it's no wonder he said to Now how do we get around this carefully? Hey. Can we Okay. What is this? What is it? Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Huh, the piece is missing. What's this? It doesn't say anything. Hmm. I know there was a rock back in the forest before where it had those pieces in it. I don't know if we could take those out and move them here, so, but... Miss Fortune, I didn't, I so... I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Sure. I'm ready. Wonderful. More now, questions. Just be honest and think about it before answering. Okay. First question. Do you believe in magic? After what I've seen today in this game? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Benjamin, like, wields tools and there's a voice in my head talking to me. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. We'll see, yeah. Yes. Yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Aww. Moving on. Second question. Do you trust me? I already said it. For this playthrough, we're going to trust him. Even if he sometimes seems sketchy. Yes, we trust you. I guess. I can only hear you in my head. And I trust my own head. So yeah. That makes me so happy to hear, Miss Fortune. This might backfire well, on me terribly. Anyway, we'll find now, out. For the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. Everybody should be. Yes, it's terrifying. I, am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like... Too mysterious, you know? Yeah. What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Yeah. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know? Yeah. There's hey, a house. Look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin's house. Benjamin. Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. We're cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Where's Fox the thumb? has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Okay. The one time I didn't run from the fox, or hide from the fox, did it get... What is that thumping noise? Ah. Oh. It looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He, he must be so muscular. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go in then. 
Be brave, Miss Fortune. We got this. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my Azuma Hopper. There's a game console. It's Benjamin Hopper. I asked him to share the prize with us. And everything Radio, will be fine. some dead flowers, a cup of tea. Is this Benjamin? He got some sweet style. I like it. Oh, a video player. Fancy. Very fancy. What? What is this? Let's see. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> he was recording himself. But why? Is it that? The monster! Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape. Or Benjamin's tape broke because somebody didn't want us to see something. Maybe I can fix it. Oh. Glitter. Helping us to the video player! <laughs> okay. Oh, what a cozy couch. It looks like there's Is a that Benjamin's book. diary? We were told to find clues. This is what we need to do. Just gonna have a little look inside. Oh, this red fox. So his name is Joe Benjamin. But the the fox said his name was not Benjamin. I must make dangerous mission. Mission must be done. Is what I trained to make. Nervous, but is okay. I can study and bigger confidence. I travel from Seren... Sir... Sener... Sener... Sidi? To Pandora when fog appears. Oh, excuse me. When fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long to stay. I rent Kamen until work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. Oh. After a long walk in fog, I arrived city called open fields tiny town has good forest cabin very nice has tv kitchen i sleep sofa i decorate cabin fish balls smell funny ate mushrooms in woods i refresh after sleep try find parasite did not find it one day fail day one fail many victims gone missing in parasite game parasite game I can't help. Feel sad. I send message to boss. Some victims not come to Synercity. Synercity? I see Parasite. It scared me. Also, not eat mu more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas. <laughs> Poor buddy. It's no good. Don't eat this mushroom again. Mushroom. Serious danger. Not feel good. Danger mushroom. I stay home. Cut wood and do tea and boot soup. Good taste. I do dolls for victims and pictures if she sees them good. Parasite recognized. Morgo code P0101222. It likes to play. It has a guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. Now rest until stomach good. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here. Morgo play old trick many times now, but it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Uh oh. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. Boss sends me message. Watch victim house. I sleep outside house. Hide in trash. I fail find parasite. It did not come today. Big trouble. Miss Fortin should watch me. Strange. Why she see me? She big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in stomach. Maybe mushrooms tickle again. Oh, he is a good fox. I see Morgo play old trick again. Victim doesn't rec doesn't realize all that is again. All is again. Must courage and stop parasite this time. I send many victim to Sener Senercity. I got level two protector. I confident. Now I has primeval illumination cane. 
I try play Moonvolution Cane in the woods. Fun. I feel courage. Practicing to help misfortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she fun and strong. More confused by charms of Mitch Fortune. I did video picking wood and parasite came, but I'm courage now. I scared only little. I message boss. I am doing it today. All steps followed. Prepared breakfast tea. Feeling funny feeling with tea. Herbs from woods are fun. I am courage and confident today. I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see what Miss Fortune thinks of all of these things. By Benjamin Johannalius Redford. I knew his name was Benjamin. It is Benjamin. How did she know that? So Benjamin is not from Oakenfield. I bet she has an accent. I love that in a fox. <laughs> Parasite, you say? Who are the victims? What game? Benji is afraid of the parasite. Oh, poor Benji. Hmm. Mason? A voice? It's the monster! Fear. Big trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. I think he is. Oh, Seems that way. Oh, check out Benji's dick. Yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. <laughs> if Benji has a boss, he has a job. He has a then job. I can be married to him. <laughs> You're not gonna marry the fox, dear. Life after death. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. The upside of being like a spirit Benjamin animal. Fox. He's a spirit animal. Communication, key to cooperation. Learning how to be gray? He's a red fox. Uh, the fun stories of a boring man. When hatred wants to be loved. The meaning of love. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Tea? Mmm. That tea smells like roses and lemon. Nice. I bet it's called... Benjamin's blend. It's very cute. Because I can almost smell his boss blending the ingredients. Okay, that's a little weird, ma'am. Maybe ma I should try it out. No. It's not our... It's his tea. We're not drinking his tea. That's rude. Hmm. Mr. Voice said that I shouldn't trust a fox. It's not even about trust. It's about being rude. It's rude to drink someone else's tea. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. He looks good in that hat. I have a feeling we've made a mistake about trusting the narrator. Hi, oh, Benjamin! Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. What are you? Is this a kid? Is this really happening? No, no, no. What is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? Yeah. I think I saw him too. You can't hide the children. This is not good. I think... Oh man, I said I'd trust the narrator, but this is seeming more and more like the narrator's the bad guy. Especially after what happened in Benjamin's book. But is his job to lead us to death, though, is the question. I 
know the narrator said not to follow him if we saw him to run, but... Oh gosh, I feel like this is a really big decision here. I know what I want to do, so we're just going to go with what I want to do. I want to follow the fox. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I help a girl in trouble? Let's follow him. Oh, we fell. Benjamin, where do you go? Oh. Oof. Oh no, is this Benjamin? It's his fur. Oh. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm a little lame, you know. Oh, we need the chair. We need a chair. Uh huh. So she's a clever little lady. Yep. Eh. Time to use my ninja skills. Be careful, little girl. Very careful. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. What a bad crack. Ew. Be <laughs> oh gosh. Quiet. Dang it. This is a ninja mission. Really? Ugh. Benjamin, are you here? And the bear trap was him, but it might have been to keep the you-know-who out. He's got food supplies mm, and stuff. Kind of fish bowl? Ew. This is like sushi bowls. No, it's worse. Key? Hmm, <coughs> a picture of a key. Interesting. <coughs> Sorry. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Get the key. Hmm. Are we a ninja lady? Always touches everything. Key <laughs> seems important, okay? A secret button. Oh. Yes. Press the button. All right, then. I push the button. I feel like it's going to open the door, right? Let's get All down. Right. Time to find Benjamin. Oh. <gasps> oh, that was unfortunate. Oh god. I hope things got better when I got the eternal happiness. Oh dear, are you okay? Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Get up, Miss Fortune. Oh god. Girl. Girl. You are stronger than you think. Come on, girl, get up. Oh my god. You've been knocked down before. What is happening? Did you let that stop you? Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Oh my goodness. Because. Because. What the heck is happening? You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. What the heck? We smacked our head really hard on a chair, girl. Are you okay? Gosh dang. Where are we? Okay. It's a deer. I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? Hello, deer. I guess I'm alone. There's a deer. Hello. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Pet. Good deer. Dream come true. There's a. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> There's a big one there. I don't pet him too much. Benjamin? The Are adult make it man. He must be in trouble. Benji. I'm 
very disappointed in your misfortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. I trusted you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I Would don't you? want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What did you do to him? Freaking monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. Oh dear. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. Oh, baby Benji! Is that Benjamin as a baby? He's so cute! Oh, cute. UST for students of the University of Ser Sener Sener Sedist Technology. Protector course. Three step guide. Three step guide to exterminating parasitic beings from the beyond. Introduction. As the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside of the constituted FREE, -E, five realms of exit or of ascent essential existence, there we go, got it, have appeared. After the Ultra War, Ultra War, thousands of beings were discovered as a byproduct of the war. They created themselves as a new realm. We refer to them as the Beyond. The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logic, lo logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment. Since the foundation of our reality is be based in the en energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality before the ultra war, the beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect it with a logical manner, or in a logical manner. A few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, known as parasites. They normally seek and they normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure to the beyond. Oh no. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them to Center City. Okay. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a set step. For each victim, the protector returns to Senercity. Ser I can never get that right. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. The protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protector's parasite case P0101222 Morgo. Morgo? Is that... Is that the voice's name? Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead, but doesn't realize it. Oh gosh. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. Checklist of parasite. P0101222 Morgo deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet lures the victims to play dangerous games. It shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. 
it quickly learns about the environment, language, and culture. Oh, language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playground. Step 2. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces. Oh, we already saw him do that. And to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to the irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Step three, prepare for direct contact with blank. Oh dear, that's not good. Okay, well, glitter that. Okay, um, I think that's where we're going to end for today. Goodness. Uh, uh, yeah, we've learned that the voice in our head is in fact a parasite from a, another reality? After some big war that happened that shouldn't be in our head and is luring children to their deaths, apparently. So, whoop. Huh. Well, we'll pick the rest of this up next time and see if we can figure out what the heck is going on and see if we can talk to Benjamin. He's not supposed to interact directly with us. This is apparently it's problematic, but you know. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, Tabby's cat tip of the day today. Uh, does your cat ever go crazy for bread? Did you ever wonder why that was? Well... It turns out that one of the ingredients in bread is also used in a lot of cat foods. So, you know, if they smell the bread and it smells like something they're used to eating, like cat food, they'll go for it. Now, it's not healthy for your cat to eat bread. There's a ton of other things in bread that is not good for cats. So don't feed your cats bread. But, you know, uh... <laughs> Now you know why some felines are simply crazy for the stuff. So yeah. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you cats and kittens have a wonderful day. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye Goodness. We did pet the deer. We did. Oh my gosh. <laughs>